Praise the Lord. Uh, we're here with Brother Jonathan. He has an awesome testimony that happened in our uh, Apostle Keith Barr's Ministries um, Friday night miracle night service. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Well, um, I've had one leg, leg longer than the other all my life. But um, I've had it so long that I could just deal with it. And my leg would hurt off and on, but it would only last for like an hour or so. But this past week, it was hurting for like four days straight. And when I got to, it stopped on Friday. It was hurting from like Monday, and then Friday it stopped. But I said, I'm going to go and have my pastor pray for it because I don't want this pain to ever come back because I was losing sleep. I was like droggy at work and I have to be at work early in the morning. And so when I came to service, I asked for prayer. And the thing was, it, 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 was, it was God that the pain had stayed because if it, the pain hadn't stayed, I would have never asked for prayer because you can have something for so long that you learn to just deal with it. It was an element that I had all my life. People used to, kids used to think that I was switching. Only older people could notice that it was limp. An old person, I don't care who it was, they would be like, what's wrong with your leg? You're limping. But a, a other person would just think that it was just a switch or something. And, it, and, it had, and I had it so long that I just became accustomed to it until the pain was just unbearable. And it is so weird. I've been in this ministry for a number of years um, and saw so many miracles, but it's so different when it's you. Because I've been looking down at my leg, and I'm able to stand straight, and I don't have to stand like this or do take a leg and take a, a lot of times, a lot, a lot of members, you, you know, that I used to, like, stand and put, like, pressure on one leg because one was shorter than the other. But now I can just stand straight up. There is no pain in the leg. It, it's, God is just awesome. Um, Pray for me because I got to buy all new shoes because with a, with a certain walk, you put with putting more pressure on your heel and stuff, it just creates like there's unbalance in the shoes and stuff. So if you see an unbalanced walk still a little bit, a lot of the heel on a, sh a certain shoe is gone because of how I was walking at that time. But I thank and praise God. God can... You just, we just need to put an expectation on God and just believe. Because for years I went with this. But until you get tired of something, mm -hmm. you can just hold on to it. And God truly wants to heal us. It's our right. And I thank and praise God for it. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I remember I was watching your face and, and sitting there because I've known you just about all my life. And... Just and for those of you the, the the doubters and the naysayers, I'm gonna tell you right now, brother Jonathan is the type of person that if it wasn't true, he would say it's not true. He's probably the most realest person there is. Yes. Yeah, so, um, but I I remember sitting there and I, sitting there and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like it just like the look of shock was on your was on your face. It's totally different when it's you. It's totally different. I am still in shock. I am like, you know, God is just good. I can't describe it any other kind of way. It was just my time and my turn, and I thank and praise God for it. So you, so what is your members of your family saying? Because and everyone, my mother is like the only person that knows is my immediate family because I haven't been, you know, around anybody. I've been in work and been busy or whatever. But my mother is just ecstatic, like. Um, because my mother had to deal with the backlash. You know, when you have a child that comes home and, you know, people would tease me and say that I was switching or whatever. And, you know, you, it, it is so many other elements that that affects because I built up walls and had to get delivered from hurts and pains. But coming into this ministry, it taught me, you know, to be able to let people in and get friends. Because a, a, a lot of times I was a loner just not to just deal with drama. But I thank and praise God that that season, is over Glory. that I don't have to explain to people oh it's it's a limp or I'm fine because just because I was limping didn't mean that I was in pain it was just because it was such a drastic one leg shorter than the other that it just caused an uneven walk so, so, so what, what caused was you born that way yeah I, I was born with one leg shorter than the other mm -hmm. had in my whole life whenever I was walking or whatever and as a kid I used to just just I used to just drag my feet you, mm -hmm. So you would find, like people, my mother used to, we, because we, my mother ne has never really driven, 
So a lot of places when I was younger, we would have to walk, and she would be like, boy, stop dragging your feet. And it was just the way that I walked. You would hear a constant sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> So I guess as a parent, you're like, stop that. But I thank and praise God I don't have to drag my feet anymore. My shoes won't be warned from, you know, and, and even there's no more pain every other so, ever so often. And then no more. And another element that I'm healed of is so much that God has done is I don't have scoliosis anymore. That caused scoliosis. <laughs> And they wanted, it was just so much they wanted to do. They wanted to do a back brace. I, there was, this is was stuff that I would, I'm, no, I'm too into, no, I'm just too into how stuff look. I'm like, uh, it was so funny when I was a little kid, when I was a teenager getting ready to go into junior high, they had built this special shoe. The shoe was like, first of all, the shoes weren't sharp. They were just, they weren't even, they weren't that, they weren't in. And then, it was, like, it was like a Payless shoe that they put this big old heel on, and I had a, one heel on one shoe, then a normal shoe, and they wanted me to wear that in junior high in Pontiac. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't happening. And so what I did as a kid is I took it over to my cousin's house. I called that the place of no return, because whatever I didn't want, I took it over there and left it and came home. <laughs> and so I never wear that shoe. But that, that was the... You know, that was, that was life for me that I, I just, and then I had it so long, I just learned to just live with it and deal with it. And the thing was, it, I have put it, sometimes you, you, something is so traumatizing that I understand why they say people put stuff in the back of their mind. I couldn't verbally tell you which leg was shorter than the other. I just knew I had one. I never, it was like, if you ignore it, it'll go. That was my thought process on it. But God totally healed me. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah.